prove that NC naught whole square, NC one whole square, so on, NC n whole square is equal to two n factorial over n factorial whole square for all n belongs to natural number. So in such type of problem, there is a hint. That hint is we have to find on the right hand side this term is the coefficient of this term. So if you see we have 2n factorial that is n factorial into n factorial. So if we see we have 2n factorial that is 2n minus n factorial into n factorial. So we get this is the uh, factorial of 2n cn that is in the expand, expansion 1 plus x raised to power 2n and that can be written as 1 plus x raised to power n into 1 plus x raised to power n or 1 plus x raised to power n into x plus 1 raised to power n because in such type of problem we will get the required so if we expand this and expand this on multiplying we will get coefficient of x and as n c naught whole square and so on. So this is a hint to solve such type of problem. So just take we have 1 plus x raised to power n into x plus 1 raised to power n. That is equal to 1 plus x raised to power 2n. So, taking left hand side that is 1 plus x raised to power n and x plus 1 raised to power n we will have in the first bracket by the binomial expansion nc0 plus nc1x plus so on ncn x raised to power n into nc0 x raised to power n plus nc1 x raised to power n minus 1 plus so on ncn into 1. So on multiplying these two brackets we will get nc0 into nc0 as the coefficient into x raised to power n plus nc1 into nc1 as x raised to power n plus so on ncn into ncn x raised to power n plus so many terms. So if we have to find the coefficient, therefore coefficient of x raised to power n is nc naught whole square, nc1 whole square plus so on, ncn whole square. And but from right hand side that is 1 plus x raised to part 2n coefficient of give its name as number 1 coefficient of xn is 2n cn that is 2n factorial over 2n minus n factorial into n factorial so we get 2n factorial over n factorial into n factorial. That is 2n factorial over n factorial whole square. So on comparing 1 and 2, that is from 1 and 2, we get nc0 whole square plus nc1 whole square plus nc n whole square we get 2n factorial over n factorial whole square. So this is a question in such type of question we have to find the coefficient. On the basis of this coefficient we can find the answer very easily. Now the next problem is also same as as a, uh, as a problem done in the previous lecture. That is 
prove that NC0 into NC1, NC1 into NC2 plus so on, NCN minus 1 into NCN is equal to 2N factorial over N minus 1 factorial into N plus 1 factorial. So use the hint as explained in previous lecture. So the hint is we have 2N factorial over N minus 1 factorial into N plus 1 factorial. So if we see we can get 2n factorial into this is r so it is r minus n minus r into r factorial that is n factorial over n minus r into r factorial what is going to be happen if you see it is same as this that is 2n minus n is n minus 1 is n minus 1 factorial. This is the coefficient of n plus 1 in 1 plus x raised to part 2n or we can write as 2n factorial 2n minus n minus 1 whole factorial into n minus 1 factorial. You can see 2n minus n is n minus 1 minus 1 plus 1. So we will get the same term. Then this can also be applied. That is coefficient of n minus 1 in 1 plus x raised to part 2n. So this is the hint. Now we have s we have 1 plus x raised to power 2n is equal to 1 plus x raised to power n into x plus 1 raised to power n. So, it can be rewritten as nc0 plus nc1 into x plus so on ncn x raised to power n into nc0 x raised to power n plus nc1 x raised to power n minus 1 plus nc2 x raised to power n minus 2 plus so on ncn into x that is number 1 therefore from right hand side coefficient of x raised to power n minus 1 is nc0 into nc1, nc1 into nc2, plus so on, ncn minus 1 into ncn. And from right and left hand side, coefficient of x raised to power n minus 1 is that is number 2. It is 2n c n minus 1. So we get 2n factorial over n minus 1 factorial into 2n minus minus n plus 1 factorial. That is 2n factorial over n minus 1 factorial into 2n minus n n plus 1 factorial. So from 2 and 3 both are the coefficient of x raised to power n minus 1. Therefore from 2 and 3 we get nc0 into nc1 plus nc1 into nc2 plus so on. ncn minus 1 into ncn is equal to 2n factorial over n minus 1 factorial into n plus 1 factorial. So while doing such problem, we have to take hint from the right hand side that, that is uh, always with a coefficient of 1 plus x. That is expansion. So we have to check out which, uh, which will be the coefficient to get the required answer. The next problem is 
if in the expansion of x minus 2y raised to power n the sum of fifth and sixth term is 0 find the value of x by y if n is equal to 8 then find x over y so in this problem we have to find the fifth and sixth term sixth term and then get the sum that is equal to 0 so the solution is here t5 is t4 plus 1 that is nc4 here a is x that is raised to power n minus 4 and b is minus 2y raised to power 4 and t6 is t5 plus 1 that is nc5 x raised to power 5 n minus 5 and minus 2y raised to power 5 so according to given statement that is according to given condition we have t5 plus t6 is equal to 0 that is nc4 x raised to power n minus 4 into minus 2 raised per 4 into y raised per 4 plus nc5 x raised to power n minus 5 minus 2 raised to power 5 into y raised per 5 is equal to 0. So we get nc4 into x raised to power n minus 4 2 into 2 raised to 4 is 16 into y raised per 4 is equal to minus nc5 x raised to power n minus 5 into minus 32 y raised to power 5 that is n factorial over n minus 4 factorial into 4 factorial x raised to power n minus 4 into 16 into y raised to power 4 is equal to n factorial over n minus 5 factorial into 5 factorial minus minus become plus x raised to power n minus 5 into 32 raised to y raised to power 5. Here we have to do calculation to simplify it. Now n factorial is cancelled out by n factorial and will remain with 1 over 4 factorial into n minus 4 into n minus 5 factorial into x raised to power n minus 4 into 16 y raised to power 4 and 1 over n minus 5 factorial into 5 into 4 factorial into x raised to power n minus 5 into 32 y raised to power 5. So we get further that is 1 over n minus 4 x raised to power n minus 4 into 16 into y raised to power 4 over 1 over 5 into x raised to power n minus 5 into 32 y raised to power 5. So we get here 1 over n minus 4 is equal to 1 over 5 x raised to power n minus 5 minus n plus 4 into 32 y raised per 5 over 16 y raised to power 4. So we get 5 over n minus 4 is equal to x raised to power minus 1 over nothing over that is 2 into y. So we get 5 over n minus 4 y over x that is 2y over x. So we have to find x over y. So x over y is equal to 
n minus 4 over 5 that is x over y is equal to 2 times n minus 4 over 5. So this is the value of expression of x over y. So if n is equal to 8 then x over y is 2 by 5, 8 minus 4 is 4. That is 8 over 5. So this is the value of x over y is 8 by 5 when n is equal to 8. Now the next problem is obtain the sum of last 30 coefficient in the expansion of one plus x raised to power fifty nine. So we have to find here sum of last thirty coefficient. First of all here n is equal to fifty nine. That means n plus one that is fifty nine plus one sixty terms are there. So first thirty terms are That is NC02, NC29 and last 30 terms are that is not term that is coefficients are. As it is 1 plus X form. Therefore, coefficients are NC30 to NC59. That is last 30 coefficients. So, we have to find sum. So, sum of these that is noted by as NC30 plus so on NC59. So, here N is 59. So, we have 59C30 plus so on 59C59. As we know that NCR is equal to NCN minus R. So let's start with the, this formula. We will get S is equal to 59C30. That is 59C. 59 minus 30 is 29. 59C28 plus so on. 59C, 59 minus 50 and that is 0. That is sum of first 30 terms. That is given as number 1 expression. That is number 2. So, adding 1 and 2. We get 2 times of S is equal to 59C0, 59C1 up to 59C59. So as we know that NC0, NC1 up to NCN is equal to 2 raised to power N. Therefore, we have 2S is equal to 2 raised to power 59. That is S is equal to 2 raised to power 59 over 2. That is sum of last 30 coefficient of terms is 2 raised to power 59 minus 1 that is 2 raised to power 58. That is the required sum of last 30 coefficient in the co last 30 coefficient in the expansion of 1 plus x raised to power 59. So from all these problems you can see there are some tricks to solve some problems. So you have to opt all these tricks and uh, reminding all these tricks and formulas then you will able to solve the binomial theorem expansion problems.